did you ladies face any challenges? I would say I definitely did. I served in the Navy for five years, and um, it was the most amazing experience of my life. But I came in during a time where women had only recently been introduced onto ships within the last decade. And so my first command, you know, I came into the Navy at 17 years old, and I was on board a ship by 19. And there were a lot of men who had never served with women in that capacity. So it was definitely difficult trying to um, convince them that, no, I wasn't just a good female sailor. I was a good sailor, period. That's right. Mm. <laughs> Do you take on slightly different personality when you're uh, <laughs> dressed in the ensemble? It's fun because we're all sisters. Yeah. So we've all served yeah. in its different branches, and it's just, it's an incredible experience to shoot with women that I love so dearly who are beautiful, not only on the outside, but, but on the, the inside. inside as well. Mm -hmm. You've done a great job on this. And your experience in the Navy? Absolutely wonderful. I served in California and in Virginia on board the USS Theodore Roosevelt, deployed in 2003 in support of Operation Iraqi Freedom. Best five years of my life. That's what Jennifer really? said. Isn't and that how amazing? do you feel in that dress? I feel gorgeous, darling. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you look very Jennifer. beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. I would love this whole era. I Isn't know. It great? And Jennifer, you are a Navy vet. Were you nervous about posing? <laughs> I was actually incredibly nervous. Um, Gina had come to me and asked me a few times um, if I would be interested, and at the time I, I was like, no, I, I, I don't think I can do that. And it really hit home when she told me, you know, this raises a lot of money for the troops and for vets, and that was a game changer. I just swallowed my nervousness and got over it. And I'm glad I did. I love the organization, and I'm very blessed to be a part of it. And I, and I know for the women that are in the calendar, you know, they, it's really affected their lives as well. It, it has. I've met amazing female veterans who are beautiful on the inside and out, and it's just been an amazing experience to be able to serve my community with female vets, with other female vets, after leaving the service. So. Well, it's very empowering. Thank you for your service. We're a bit like a blast from the past. It's nice. And then we also have an additional connection with female veterans because they see us as volunteers coming in. But once they realize that some of us are female vets, it's like, hey, girl. And Jennifer's, Jennifer's a Navy vet and Shannon is an Air Force veteran.